Hey everyone, welcome back to this mini series where I compare the core four yield max funds to the most popular income producing funds to see who comes out on top. This idea was via a poll I asked on the channel and was voted on by you. With that being said, please keep your eye out for other polls in the future so your voice can be heard. To keep these videos as short as possible, I wanted to cover each of the core four yield max funds in their own videos. If you missed the one I did last week on crowd favorite TSLY, I'm gonna link that somewhere up here, so be sure to watch that after this video. But now, let's get to this week's fund, NVDY. As I was planning on how to tackle this, my first step was to find out the top income ETFs, so I took to Google and searched several websites for the most popular income funds and compiled a list. Next, I wanted to compare apples to apples and look at these income funds versus the yield max funds during the same time frame to check for the performance with dividends reinvested. In this video, NVDY will be competing against another 23 of the most popular income funds to see who reigns supreme. It is important to note that the performance of these funds will only be since the inception of NVDY which is May 11th of 2023. Without further delay, let's get into the numbers. So as a spoiler alert, NVDY did have the best performance since its inception, and in an effort to make this a video and not a short, I wanted to at least give a top five with NVDY's very impressive performance at the end of the video. I think that if you're the type of investor that likes the performance and returns of NVDY, some of these other funds in the top five might be worth looking into as well. Coming in at number five, we have NUSI with a current dividend yield of 7.81% while currently 5.84% off of their 52-week high and having total returns with dividends reinvested of 7.84% since the inception of NVDY, which comes out to 22.53% annualized returns. Coming in at number four on the list, we have QYLG with a current dividend yield of 5.93%, while currently 4.79% off of their 52-week high and having total returns with dividends reinvested of 7.92% since the inception of NVDY, which comes out to 22.76% annualized returns. Coming in at number three on the list, we have JEPQ with a current dividend yield of 11.21%, while currently 2.57% off of their 52-week high and having total returns with dividends reinvested of 8.2% since the inception of NVDY, which comes out to 23.56% annualized returns. Coming in at number two on the list, we have SVOL with a current dividend yield of 15.58%, while currently only 0.65% off of their 52-week high and having total returns with dividends reinvested of 10.64% since the inception of NVDY, which comes out to 30.59% annualized returns. Which leads us to number one and the best performing income fund on this list, which is NVDY. At the time of recording, NVDY boasts an impressive dividend yield of 50.6%, while currently trading down 16.79% from its 52-week high and having total returns with dividends reinvested of 28.69% since inception, which comes out to 82.45% annualized returns. Now, of course, we need to also see how NVIDIA, the fund that NVDY tracks, is also doing during the same time frame. NVIDIA has been one of the hottest stocks of 2023 due to the explosion of AI, and its returns have certainly reflected that. NVIDIA does technically pay a dividend, but of course, it's nothing compared to the yield max version of NVDY. Nonetheless, NVIDIA still has the best returns since May of 2023, which is when yield max's NVDY was created, even when factoring in that great dividend from NVIDIA. With a 0.04% dividend yield, and despite being 12.66% off of its 52-week high, NVIDIA still has a total return with dividends reinvested of 53.64%, which comes out to an annualized return of 154.17%. Keep in mind that all of the funds we looked at in today's video are using a very short sample size of a little bit over four months. But with that being said, the returns of all these funds, including NVDY and NVIDIA, have been very kind to shareholders. If it were me, I would not expect these kind of returns from NVIDIA or Yieldmax's NVDY over the long term. But if you're at the point where you need your portfolio to start generating some cash flow to live off of, some of the funds mentioned in today's video might be worth looking into. This is why it's so important to understand how much time you really have to let your dividend portfolio grow, as making the call to have your dividend portfolio produce cash now way before it's needed could be a very costly mistake to your future goals. A while ago on my channel, I did make a video that talks about the risk of going for that dividend too soon, and I'll link that at the end of this video if you're interested. Use the comment section down below to let me know which of the core four remaining funds that you would like me to review between OARK and APLY, and I'll get that one next. And also let me know if you have any thoughts or opinions on what was covered in today's video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, see ya.